Oregon, 20% of the kids in school K through 12 are Latino. A local nonprofit wants to make sure each one of these kids succeed. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Please welcome Gail Castillo, President, Hispanic Metropolitan Chamber. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, now 20%, and you say they have a tougher time because a lot of these kids come from an impoverished background, and they're the first generation. That's correct to even go to school and, and complete even high school. You said your mother didn't complete right, high school. My mother and myself and many other people in, in the community are the first generation to go to school. My mother, for example, has a sixth grade education, which is fine, but the challenge for a lot of kids is that we don't get the guidance at the kitchen table or at the dinner table about what career to go into, what classes to take, what college to consider going to. And unfortunately, with many of the cuts that have come in the school districts, there aren't very many advisors. So the kids are kind of winging it. Uh, in some cases, they're advising each other. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that works, and sometimes that doesn't. So it's a real challenge. What does the Hispanic Metropolitan Chamber do for these kids? Uh, we have a scholarship program, and we provide scholarships to students, to Latino students, all over the state. Eastern Oregon, Southern Oregon, the coast, et cetera, and of course the Portland metro area. And we've given $1.5 million in scholarships to students, and those scholarships have been matched by our educational partners, both public universities such as U of O, OSU, et cetera, but also private colleges such as Linfield, Lewis and Clark, and others in the area. Now I can imagine um, it's tough, you know, going back to these kids in school not only because parents aren't there to push them and say go be a lawyer or a doctor but a lot of times both parents are working and they come home there's no one there no one to help with homework no one to even say do your homework what are the other challenges that these kids face well a lot of them are taking care of their siblings um, many of the parents uh, have not just one job but two jobs unfortunately they're not well-paying jobs so in another in order to sustain their families they're working multiple jobs. So the children are looking after the, the smaller children. So we're just trying, we do workshops uh, at the schools and on Saturdays in the community to help explain what the process is for applying for college not only, and give them information not only about our scholarships but other scholarships. And then we help them put together what they call a portfolio, mm -hmm. which are answers to essay questions that they may have on different applications and that kind of gives them a head start mm -hmm. and we review it and um, advise them. And you also uh, go into the business community, make sure the Latino managers and CEOs out there network and, and it's, you know, an all-encompassing community. Right. The, the, the businesses in our community understand that we have an aging workforce. As you mentioned, 20% uh, of our students K through 12 are Latino. That's a major uh, piece of our future workforce that we have to make sure is prepared to take the jobs that we our community needs in the future. Nurses, doctors, lawyers, teachers. And how many uh, folks do you have that participate in your programs from the business community? We have over 800 members, but we communicate with over 4,500 people through emails and other uh, information. And it is the business community, uh, individuals that are contributing to our scholarship program that has made this possible. And do you get some of those business leaders into the schools to talk to kids, or do you get uh, mentorship going? We uh, work with uh, the schools, and, and then we also have, uh, in addition, a leadership program. So we're helping not only those students who want to go to college, but we're also helping young people who are in the workforce to help them move up. All right, Gail Castillo, thank you very much for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. Appreciate it. We want to thank you for being here as well. From the Pittock Mansion, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.